Hello and welcome everyone. So we are back to the policy based authorization in ASP.NET Core 3 and we will be doing the part 3 today. So I strongly recommend for all of you who have missed the part 1 and 2 or are yet to get back to the first two parts, please uh, attend the first two parts. Please uh, um, go through the first two parts before coming to this part 3 because part 3 is very much based on what we have already learned in the first two parts. So the learning outcomes being that we shall learn about policy requirements in ASP.NET Core 3 and learn how to apply the policy requirement to a class that implements the marker interface I authorization requirement. When I say marker interface, this interface is just a declaration. It has got no members, you know. So it's just serving as a marker interface so that any implementing class can implement it in any way it likes okay so we'll understand the meaning of what i just said later so requirements for a policy what is the requirement for a policy every policy in asp.net core consists of one or more requirements and for a policy to be satisfied a user must fulfill all the requirements a requirement is a collection of data parameters used by a policy to evaluate the user identity. So it's nothing but a bunch of data which is used by a policy which we have seen in the last two lectures to evaluate if the user identity is correct or not. So for a requirement, you need to create a class that implements the I authorization requirement interface. So the next slide shows a code snippet that illustrates the requirement for, requirement for the minimum experience policy. Now this is a code snippet. So I have drawn uh, um, developed um, public class minimum experience requirement which draws from which implements the I authorization requirement which I said that it has a marker interface which has got no members. So public int minimum experience gets it. So it is a public um, property which returns uh, minimum experience and there is a public minimum experience requirement it's a constructor public uh, constructor which takes in the experience and sets the this public property minimum experience to the value of the pass parameters so that's all and before leaving for today we'll again recap what we have learned it's a very short lecture today as we have seen. So we have seen in this part 3 that we have learned about the policy requirements in ASP.NET Core 3. What is the requirement and learned how to